Okay, so over the weekend I was looking online and I found this cool trick you can do with your Wii Remote and some infrared LEDs, which I have one right here. Um, you can basically make a smart board using your Wii's infrared camera, a Bluetooth adapter, an infrared LED with a power source, and a Bluetooth adapter. Okay, so a lot of people have the Wii, I already had it, so I didn't need to go buy a controller or anything. But I went to Radio Shack yesterday. I got this LED for $2. Um, I got a whole roll of wire because I was short on wire anyway. I got this battery from downstairs somewhere. And I got this Bluetooth adapter right there. The Bluetooth adapter was also on sale for only $9.97. $9.97. $9.97. Instead of the forty dollars you usually pay for it, so that was nice to know that I got it for. I got a really nice one for only ten dollars, and it works great. It's very stable. Text phones from all over the house, but okay. So I'm going to show you how this works. So you have to turn on the infrared for your camera to see this, but. Basically, you just touch these wires together. Now, note that you cannot see this light that it's emitting. The camera sees it, but you can't. But if you look inside of it, you can see a very faint red glow, which that also means it's on, but you can't see anything come out of it because it's infrared. But anyways, let's take a look at the program that I got off the internet. Okay, so... Here's Johnny, uh, Johnny Chung Lee's program from his website. And what this allows you to do is use your Wiimote's IR camera as a smart board sensor type thing. So this is the program. You can connect it using a Bluetooth software, which some websites show you how to do this. It's not that hard. You just hold one and two down on the Wii remote until and then click this orange circle thingy and then basically once it detects this you right click it and click pair and then connect and stuff I don't know how to do it again but anyways we're going to calibrate the screen now so that we can use it let's close that so I don't kill that so with the Wii remote sitting on the chair beside me I will have to calibrate it using that special program that I found. Then I am going to tap the wire. Obviously this is a really, okay I messed up. Obviously this is a really lame switch because it's going to be very difficult to draw with. But Johnny Chung Lee has come up with a pen design for his infrared LED which is very effective. Okay, now I can start doing stuff with the cursor. So I'm going to connect these wires. And now I'm going to show you with a projector. Okay, so now I've connected my computer to a projector. Okay, so after some minor calibration issues, I managed to position my Wii remote correctly, and my projector was fine where it was, but I also had to make a more efficient way to hold the pen and activate it by pushing this wire against here, which seems to work okay. So let me, let me show you how this thing works. Let's do this. Okay, so you take the 
10 thingy. Put it against the screen and activate the switch. It's a little off alignment. Uh, open, I don't know. Zoom. Your computer is set to the year 2049, which will cause Windows Media Player to stop responding. Set your computer to the correct date and try again. That's the basic idea. Let's try paint. Okay, this keeps getting off alignment. This came from. I probably hit a button while it was in midair, but anyways. Voila. And my battery's dead, so goodbye.